Okay, so today we've got a 650 at 46 degrees in the freezer. You can see the water in there. You immediately think that maybe you have a failed compressor, but this compressor here is cold to the touch. I got nothing going on here, no power, or, or it's not even trying to start. Um, so I got the fan running. So uh, I know that I do have power coming up here or trying to come up here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our voltmeter. So, so we take the condenser fan motor and we take a power reading on it. And we got 122 volts going to the CFM, to the condenser fan motor. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our compressor here, which technically should be running. It's 47 degrees. It should definitely be running. It should be getting the signal to run. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna plug my voltmeter into it and I'm getting 0 0.006 volts, no voltage. Voltage originates at the computer board. Uh, on this model, particular model, we see this a lot with overrun uh, compressors. The computer board will actually fail uh, before, before a compressor or anything. So we've got our CPU board here and we're gonna get that changed. We're gonna change out that fan that's leaking a little oil, close to 15 years old. And we have already cleaned the condenser. And there's our fridge compressor. Okay. Computer board is located right up here inside the refrigeration compartment. And what you can do if you really want to be sure is you can remove the uh, female connection from the relay on the computer board and you can check for voltage. Uh, and you can even ground to a screw back here and you can check for your 120 uh, at that relay. But, um, you know, you're not getting power up to the compressor. Uh, you could also check continuity uh, on that purple wire right there. Uh, it goes up to your freezer compressor. But there's no harness. I've never seen a breaking continuity from the computer board uh, to the freezer compressor, especially on a, on a 2007 653. So just from experience, uh, this is kind of like a gut job, you know. I'm like, hey, we're changing the computer board. Well, yeah, we've seen it a hundred times. So, But if you really wanted to test, you could check for power at your relay. Um, I usually ground to the screw, or you could do continuity, either one. And then as far as the computer board goes, it's a total one-off for the 653. It's the 7014184, and you're gonna grab it. Okay, I'm outside now from that house, and I just want to explain. When I'm doing a computer board, I put the, the new computer board into place, and I let this dangle. And I got the power off, obviously, but I'm, uh, I'm taking wires off of this, and I'm immediately pretty much just putting them on the new CPU. Now, this isn't a very uh, advanced control board. It's only got about 10 wires, but some of them have a lot more. So I like to keep it right in the area I'm working and I go wire by wire. Sometimes I'll see technicians take off 10 wires at once and they don't know where anything goes and they gotta look at the wiring diagram or color code it. And in the meantime, we'll nitrogen blow out this, con this condenser grill and get this nice and clean. Okay, so computer board is changed, and we are going to plug her back in. Got my fan motor in. Reconnected my electrical to the relay. And, oop, action. Fired right up. All right, job well done. Both compressors. That'll work. 
Okay, we got our wine cooler. It's in the truck. Looking good. You're adorable. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, thanks. We'll see you. Thank you so much. I figure about next week we're going to try to turn around quick. Cool. All right. <laughs> Picked up the wine cooler. All right, we got another wine cooler. <laughs> this time in Kinelon, we'll turn it around in about a week. Look at those U-lines. Okay, we're leaving Kinelon. Uh, we got our second wine cooler today in the back of the truck. Uh, today turned into a day in Westchester, straight back into New Jersey with wine cooler pickups. We're going to bring them to our shop and rebuild them and then bring them back. It is December uh, 7th, so hopefully we can get them all back uh, a little bit before the holidays. Uh, they're the 424 model wine cooler, which this will give a really nice segue into videos about them because I've been trying to make videos about those wine coolers forever. Uh, they're a real pain in the butt <laughs> and not exactly the most fun job, pretty laborious, but if you watch the video uh, about those wine coolers, you'll see uh, it's just another service that we do. A very popular, good unit that can always be repaired. Okay, back in the shop. A uh, contractor took off the wood panel off of this one and kind of screwed up the door. So we'll get that fixed up and then that boy is getting rebuilt. Uh, and this is kind of what we do at your 424 wine coolers. We bring them back to our shop. And over the weekend, on a nice Saturday or Sunday while we're not too busy, we will go ahead and rebuild it. Look at that, it's beautiful. Let me take a picture of that. <laughs> 